Hi everyone, welcome back to Silent Hunter 4 with USS Salmon and her weekly patrol logs. It's May the 4th, 1943, and here is the USS Salmon. We've had a modified conning tower installed, as it's been cut down um, for a lower profile. And I did see in the comments, um, oh yeah, switch out the uh, four inch gun for a four inch bow gun with 20 millimeter stern dual mount. So uh, do we want the four inch gun on the bow and the 20 millimeter stern on mounted gun yes i think that's probably the, the configuration i'd like so that's how you get that gun thank you for the comments of that you know what? i just completely missed that i went down to the bottom thinking that would be the the, <laughs> the most upgraded version but not actually reading what was at the top so good call on that one um let's have a look a 20 millimeter recoil air cooled automatic weapon which fires an explosive shell paired with a four inch deck gun for dual mount for barge busting uh, other targets not worth a torpedo. Ah, nice. Right, let's. Can we pay the mon monies and get that? Yes, we can. Perfect. Right. Now that little bit of housekeeping is done, let's find out where we're going for our patrol this week. Operational order to Buck O'Hare, USS Salmon. Depart on May the fourth, nineteen forty-three. Proceed directly to area convoy college and stand by for further orders. Okay, so it's it's in this gap between Manila and Taipei, just on the edge of the South China Sea and the Philippine Sea. Okay, sounds interesting. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we are set to sea there we go there's the, uh, the base behind us and this is the newfangled conning tower yeah interesting cut we've got little sort of like um elevated areas there for the watch to um to stand on to get a better look feel a bit vulnerable if there's an aircraft attack suddenly um <laughs> but there we go so we've got some anuso back here as well searchlight and we've got our um radar and stuff up there wow so it looks impressive we've got the dual mounted uh, anti-aircraft gun here 20 millimeter and then we've got a 20 millimeter gun down there so let's head down there and take a look at this yeah it's quite a quite a bit of an upgrade for our boat to be honest I'm loving it we've got another 20 millimeter gun there we can use to take on the sandpans etc yeah, brilliant. As we come forward, there we go. There's the uh, four-inch gun. Quite a beefy thing. Take on um, any merchant ships that we get the chance to, which won't fire back, of course. They still like to be fired upon. But yeah. And another forward-firing 20mm anti-aircraft gun. Brilliant. So uh, it's all looking good. Um... We've got a long sail ahead of us to get to the uh, um, combat location, but that's okay. We'll um, do what we can, and I'll bring you back when we get a little bit closer. Well, we're just sailing through the slot. And uh, we found a couple of sampans, so it's probably a good time to uh, yes, sir. get some yes, sir. gun practice. Right, high explosives loaded. Let's um, lock on. I don't know what the range is. We'll go 1500, are we? Oh, it's well too long. Coming down to at 700. Short, sure. alright. Then, as you would expect, make evasive maneuvers. There we go, nice hits.
Probably one more will do it. No, maybe one more? Maybe just one more. There you go, life raft out. Where's the other one? There it is. That's probably going to go about a thousand feet. A thousand yards, sorry. On the money. Flames burning straight away. Get our new boat's first tonnage. Probably enough, isn't it? Stow the dead gun. Right, keep an eye on these. That one has been abandoned and is burning. This one, I think, is still going actually. Some anti aircraft shells in that. <laughs> and it eventually sunk anyway. Lovely. So, two ships sunk. Um, we've claimed a sampan for 80 tons and a very dangerous looking junk for another 80 tons on May the 5th, 1943. Nice. So, um, we start our patrol with 160 tons and we've given the uh, the new guns a bit of a, a workout, which is nice. Um, quick question. Anyone know how I can use the, uh, not the anti-aircraft gun, this gun here? Because I don't seem to be able to get onto that one, which is a bit annoying. So I'd quite like to use that. So uh, we've got it. Be uh, silly if we'd not be able to use it. But uh, anyway, we've got a long sail still ahead of us. A little bit of action, not much, just something to uh, tickle your fancy. And uh, we'll press on and get up towards the... Um, Rendezvous location. Hi everyone. The sea is a little bit rough, but we are booking it as quickly as we can. We have spotted contacts. Uh, we are just north of... Um, the Bismarck Sea um, and the island of New Island um, but over here on the horizon has been spotted there that is a big bridge and superstructure of the ship there is more ships there there looks to be a task group and potentially maybe a battleship or a, a cruiser or something that looks quite a large ship compared to the others on the horizon so uh, we're hoping maybe a, uh, a capital ship over there. So we are charging forward before we have to dive down to try and get into position where we can maybe have an attack. Slow down. Uh, I don't think this is what we thought it was. This could be an anti-submarine patrol. Right. Take us down. Let's, um, let's get out of here. Welcome back, everyone. It's a beautiful, still evening. Um, oh, there's a merchant ship, aren't there? Right, per so observation periscope down. Let's get the attack periscope up. It's got a smaller head, more difficult to see. Let's get our all our gizmos ready and see what we can do. Right, where is she? There she is. So we've got a merchant. A troop transport. Maybe that's what those ships in the um, earlier task group that we saw were, because they did show up as um, merchants, but they were destroyers. 
only a thousand tons, so it wasn't worth the uh, the trouble. You probably need to get a couple of hundred troops maximum on those ships anyway. So yeah, I think we did the better decision to let them go and not um, pursue that engagement. Uh, but here we go, quite a juicy looking target here. Just need to try and identify them. Ooh, is it that? A large composite freighter of 7,000 tons. That looks like it could be that. Right, let's get you locked in. Draft of 19.4 feet, mast 106. So we've got that set to TDC. Uh, 1500 meters, yeah. So, um, target range, we got that. Now, speed, we don't know. Barely booking it. We might just have to take a bit of a guess on speed, which we stick about nine and a half knots in. Right. Uh, it's got two deck guns, four and a half. So, let's get um, tubes one and two open. Right. Tube one. Fire. Torpedo in the water. Alright, tube two. Fire. Okay then, two great hits with the uh, tubes one and two. Uh, right in the middle. Um, big explosions, but not... A bit of smoke, but not much more going on. Um, I thought two torpedoes would be enough to sink her. we got them being reloaded now. we got tubes three and four, should we wish to send any more? But I think we'll give it a bit of time. Um... She's not going to walk away scot-free from two torpedo. Ah, there we go. That's that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. That's a bit more reassurance right there. So, yeah, we're just going to let her time. Let the uh, the fires take hold. Let the flooding take hold. And uh, see if the repair crews are um, struggling. And that looks like something's burning. They've thrown it overboard. How bizarre. What is that? It's not like the life uh, lifeboats, is it? The life rafts haven't captured fire. She's definitely going down at the stern as well, so... Maybe that's burning oil? Not sure. But yeah, she is... Um, definitely sinking. We'll just... Uh, let her take her time. And there she goes, slipping beneath the waves. Confirmation, a large composite freighter for 7,234 tons. Nice. I did see the life rafts a moment ago. There's one over there. Lots of flotsam and jetsam on the um, surface, but... Uh... Okay, surface the boat. Let's go and see if we can offer anything to the survivors. Get those torpedo tubes reloaded and we'll continue on to our uh, mission rendezvous or next mission order location. Hi everyone, right we're sailing on, uh, it's another day, lovely day actually, um, but yeah. Just thought I'd bring you back to for some interesting news. And so we just obviously you know that the contact we we sunk. Um, we've just received where is it? Um, from Com Sub Pack, uh, USS Salmon contact reported friendly task group in the area, which is interesting. Um, 
and also an enemy warship in the area, which is interesting. Um, USS Wahoo, which I thought was a great name for a boat. Um, but down here, where is it? USS Plunger, my first command. She's still going strong. She sunk a Tasuki Maru passenger cargo ship for 7,000 tons and a, uh, a Kinai Maru passenger cargo for 8,360 tons. So my original boat, USS Plunger, still going strong. That is great to see. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. But anyway, um, we've got a friendly task group and potentially a warship in the area. So um, we are going to go keep an eye out for that as well. Hi everyone, right, uh, we've got more contacts on the way to uh, our mission location. Uh, we've dived down and tried to get in front of them. There they go, there's one. Uh, oh, there's two ships there actually, I was just, what the hell is that? Um, so we've got what looks to be a troop ship there. So we've got a troop ship at the back, um, two merchant ships there. Another merchant ship there. An escort ship. Is it just the one escort ship? Wait for the cloud of the waves to go over. I think so. At the moment all I can see is one escort ship. So um it would be rude not to have a go, wouldn't it? Alright, tube one. Tube two, tube three, tube four, open. We think we got the um, tender uh, Canopus class um, passenger ship here. Tube one, fire. Tube three, oh, we got another escort. Fire. Right, switching to is it that one. That one there, which is the next one, which is a passenger cargo merchant, apparently. Just get their updated range. Tubes two, fire, four, fire. Okay, we've heard two detonations very quickly. Makes me think we've had two duds, two premature explosions. Uh, not good. Popping up to have a look. Uh, we should have had an explosion now if we'd hit the target. So I think those two premature detonations have um, well they certainly alerted the convoy and they've made evasive maneuvers the weather's also closed in very quickly as well there's the, um, the merchant ship uh, sorry the troop ship oh, we don't have any torpedoes so let's um, try to scope down Unless we get a torpedo loaded, then we might have another shot. Hi, everyone. Right, we're tracking another merchant. Uh, we never managed to get back up with that task group, thanks to the uh, the curse of the dud torpedoes. So let's... There you go. That is the distance she's covered in 315. Which is 550 Right, so that is the distance she's covered. It's 500, and, so it's 5.5 knots. Let me show you what we've spotted. So she is coming. There she is. Looks like a tanker. Nice juicy tanker as well. So we know. Uh, let's get a try and identify her. Is it that a large fleet tanker? Possibly. A couple more glances, glimpses when the waves settle.
Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. We'll go with a large fleet tanker. Good. Um, we know she's doing five and a half knots. So we'll get that set in there. Check the yes, range. Sweeping. Okay. Um, send the range to TDC. Send the bearing to TDC. Angular bow 56. That there. Right. Tube 4 and tube 3. Get those ready to fire. I'm tracking her. Waves are so choppy. Um, actually, I'm going to get all torpedo tubes open because we know how unreliable these uh, torpedoes can be, especially in, in non-perfect conditions. If the water's calm, they've been absolutely fine, but if it's a bit choppy like this, then yeah, they do go bang it at the drop of a hat. Right. Tube 3, fire. Tube 4, fire. Torpedo in the water. We are absolutely cursed by dud torpedoes today. It's bound to happen. My goodness me, we've had, I've fired all four torpedoes, three duds, and the fourth has just slipped wide. My luck. Oh my goodness, we've had so much, I suppose we've had so much good luck with the uh, torpedoes, these Mark 14s. Uh, we were bound to, it's bound to catch up for us one day, wasn't it? Um, they do have deck guns. Ah. Uh, Right, um, we may need to come, go away and come back to this one. I can't leave a lonesome tanker on her own. Especially when she's put the, uh, the little target markers all the way down the hull. It's <laughs> a uh, tauntus. Right. Um... Tube 3 opening. Tube 3 is reloaded. We reset. We've closed in. Hopefully giving these torpedoes not a chance to... Maybe, actually... Um, draft 29 feet. Maybe if we put them lower, it will uh, help. Fire. Okay, a bit of time. Oh, oh, bit of time has passed. They've sent up a red distress flare. The fires have spread. The spread to the um, midsection of the ship, which is just what I wanted to see. I don't want them to open up with their deck guns, so we'll see if we can just uh, sit this one out and let her sink in her own time. I'm fairly hopeful she's a goner. She's listing, she's sinking. These waves are not going to be very helpful. Bring you up to speed on our situation. Um, yes, we have <laughs> used all our reserves in the four tubes. Tube one ready, sir. So tube one is now ready. Um, but we're going to have to start prioritizing the aft tubes when we do our attack. We've got two of the cuties. These acoustic um, defensive torpedoes. Um, yeah, they've got a. They've only got a. Look at that. So normal torpedoes at 643 pounds of torpex. These little things only have 95 pounds. So they're only little. Yeah. 
little little firecrackers really. Um, so we're gonna have three torpedoes loaded into the front tubes. Tube three is gonna go empty. Um, so yeah, if we start prioritizing the after, we haven't even got to our mission point yet. So who knows what will lie in store for us for our actual orders? We haven't got there, but um, we've had a bit of bad luck with these torpedoes. Uh, we sunk the sampan and the junk with the deck gun. The large composite freighter we got with the torpedoes. Um, and then we had another attack on that small convoy and our torpedoes exploded. And we've just now fired torpedoes at this ship, three of which have failed to... Uh, was it three or four? Premature explosions. It's probably the rough seas and they're not really very... Fr um, stable torpedoes, the Mark 14s, they're very unreliable. And if they're not perfect conditions, they any excuse to uh, do something wrong, they'll take it. But yeah, I think she's a goner, but we'll continue to uh, stalk her just in case. Okay, a good hit. Searchlights are out. I don't know where we are, but two torpedoes now. Do I chance another one? Using one of our precious few torpedoes? Or do we just give her a bit of time? Um, I think time is probably the best point. We don't have that many torpedoes, so if we can conserve. Um, she's stricken anyway, so it's not too much trouble for us to re uh, reposition and um, get in front of her again. So we'll give her time and hopefully she's not gone yet. Hopefully we should be able to get ourselves another kill. Oh my word. Right, so we find a hoping acoustic torpedo right at it and it missed. Says you how good they are. Right, tube of six, fire. This is all our torpedoes gone. That detonate early again. Oh, for love of God! What is with this? Oh, I can use all my torpedoes just to try and sink one ship because they're bloody useless. Tube five, ready to fire. Fire. Oh my God. It's like 80% of the torpedoes we've had today have just been diabolical, right? We're going to try the other homing acoustic. It's only a 95 pound explosive charge, but maybe that's all we need. And quite frankly, the others are just unserviceable. Fire. I think I might plot home to go back to base to get some more torpedoes because this mission has been an absolute disaster. Scored a hit. Tube 7 is raised for another. Do I dare fire? I dare fire another one. They're just useless, especially in this weather. We've used our, both our homing acoustic, though. The fires are definitely more aggressive, though, aren't they? This one midships has now started to flame rather than just smoke. So, fingers crossed, that will be enough because I don't trust these torpedoes at all. There she is. We've had to surface because our CO2 is becoming an issue. Um, I'm not going to launch the deck gun at her because I feel that she may return fire. 
with the more guns than we have, so... There's no way she should be able to come back from that. Right, once we've got fresh air in the boat, take her down once more. Well, we didn't see it because we were diving, but that large tanker has eventually sunk for 14,812 tonnes. My goodness me. Torpedo situation. Three aft, three four. That's all we've got left. Six torpedoes. And the deck gun. Right, as the waves continue to be rough, uh, we're turning the boat around. Yeah, I think we're going to go back to um, base. Whoa. It's a bit challenging on the, uh, the deck here. Yeah, we're going to go back to base, rearm, and then we're going to head back out to the um, rendezvous location or the actual target location that we're supposed to be. If we are to do some convoy hunting, well, we're going to be no good with six torpedoes. So, um, we're going to head back, get rearmed, and head back out straight without um, finishing the patrol. Just get rearmed and go. So, we'll probably be a couple of days in port, and then we'll be head straight back. Um, we'll probably leave it there this week. It's been a very frustrating week. Incredibly frustrating with the sheer amount of dud torpedoes that we've suffered. But this is probably, I know you'll all say, historically accurate. They were immensely poor the Mark 14 torpedoes um, what surprises me is that they haven't been we've been okay and all of a sudden we've had we've had the bad batch haven't we and um, we've really suffered today we've lost countless potential tonnage I'm thinking of that small convoy that um, sailed on in that storm set in so it's just been bad luck all day all day it's been bad luck so we're gonna chalk this off with no I say it's not been that bad is it we still got 20,000 tons worth of um, tonnage but we're gonna head back get rearmed and then head up to the patrol point next time uh, and hopefully when you join us next week we'll be at the mission control point to uh, start whatever new orders we will receive there so we'll leave it there thanks so much for watching take care and I'll see you next time bye bye